There are many trailblazers. The first, the first person to climb Mount Everest, the first woman in space, the first African American president, the pioneers. Today, let us talk about those of you who are also blazing your own trail, defying the odds and changing generations by becoming the first in your family to pursue higher education. Many people do not understand what it means to be a first generation. What it means to be the first person who dares to dream of what seemed impossible to those before them, and take a leap into the unknown. To find yourself in unfamiliar territory where very few understand your situation, your circumstances, your fears, and your worries. To be in a new world that is opposite from the impoverished community you grew up in. To constantly doubt if you even belong, question if you have the intellectual ability to survive, and wonder if you made it because you earned your way in, or you simply a quota filler. To realize that you come from the educational system that has ill prepared you for higher education, and you now have to put in hours and hours of hard work just to narrow the gap. To unlike your peers and not be able to rely on your parent to help you financially, academically. Or guide you on navigating the often complex and difficult system of the higher institutions. To constantly have the voices of your doubters play in your head, people in your circle who never thought that you could go this far, and can't wait till you fail so they can say I told you so. To not afford to make a mistake, even to stumble a lot of other normal human beings, because as someone who is the first to embark on this journey, you have to serve as a role model for the rest of your siblings. You hope will one day follow your footstep, and you're constantly thinking about your parents who have sacrificed everything so you can have this opportunity. To be expected by your institutions to compete with those who have gotten a leg up and enjoyed quality education all their lives, to have your professor expect you to do well on that exam, read all the materials, and be active participant in class, not understanding that you rarely have time while juggling school and work all at the same time. In order to support your struggling family financially, while paying for your own tuitions, to be poor, unprepared, and confused, but you can't share your feelings with anyone, so you pretend, you keep it in, you act as if everything is okay, but internally, you're lost, terrified, frustrated, overwhelmed, suffocated, and all you wanted to do was scream, give in. But this is only one side of it. Because you see, being a first-generation student also means that you are a pioneer, a maverick, a trailblazer. You are unique in that you have an innate ability and quality that very few people possess. You are a resilient, a survivor, a warrior. You have managed to overcome, withstand, and transcend barriers, obstacles, setbacks, and painful circumstances in your life to make it to where you are today. Remember, statistically speaking. You were not even supposed to make it this far. You had more chance of dropping out of high school, being incarcerated, or dead. But you are here. You are here through sheer resilience and persistence. You are here through sacrifice and perseverance. You are here, and you should be proud of yourself for what you have achieved thus far. And always remember that it is your refusal to accept that which is given to you by life. Your unwillingness to be defined by your circumstances and your ability to thrive in hardships that got you to where you are today, and it is the same characteristics of resilience that will get you to where you want it to be tomorrow. So no, you are not here by mistake. You deserve to be here. You were meant to be here. You belong here. You are an integral part of this institution, the backbone of this campus. You have so much to offer, stories to tell, life lessons, experience, and wisdom to share. You are here, and yes, your siblings are looking up to you. Your parents are counting on you. Your community is proud of you, and all the doubters, the negative souls, are watching you. And now is not the time to second guess yourself, to question if you have what it takes to get to the finish line. Because you have not come this far to quit.